Hi everyone, I know it has been a little bit of time that I didn't make any kind of YouTube video but it was very very difficult for me to like forcefully make videos about things that I'm not really passionate about and that was the story what was happening in the uh, last few months and now finally after we are done with our entire travels in Thailand, Vietnam, Maldives, blah blah, blah we are now back. We are now back in Europe and a lot of crazy exciting things happen which I'm so excited about and so happy to share with you. And of course, like this is not just to do with stocks because with the stock investments, I have paused the things a little bit. The standard like, you know, the ETF investments, you can still put inside whatever 100, 200 euros per month. But I'm not making any kind of bigger purchases because things are so uncertain right now. But um, I then put my focus completely on the other side. And that is something that I wanted to show you in this video. And of course, no finance video can be complete with the Excel table. So let me take you to the screen and show you what I'm talking about. So we ended up buying a few properties in Romania. The first one that we ever bought was the a studio, the studio in which I'm recording this video right now, which was just 98,000 euros. And we had the closing cost of around 20,000 euros. From this, I mean around um, 2,000 euros of like notary cost, things like that. And then 18,000 euros of um, furniture. And we ended up with around 118,000 euros. We are not renting it out, but right now the rent is for the studio uh, in Bucharest is around 600 euros per month. With this, our yield would be around 6.1%. Then I bought the next one this time. On Thursday, I bought the apartment, which is 168,000 euros. Um, and this was a completely furnished apartment. And the person who owned the apartment is going to be renting the apartment further for 750 euros per month which gave me a yield of around 5.2%. Now, what is possible is to increase it by 800 euros, but that is going to be happening in the future. Now, this was a kind of a mistake for me because like the moment I bought this apartment, I instantly regretted it because I bought the, I saw the next two apartments afterwards that which I want to share with you, which was the 176,000 um, euros apartments. And in this, you have two room apartments. All of these are two room apartments. Yeah, essentially all these here are two room apartments. This is a one room apartment and these that you see, uh, this is also a two room apartment and these two are uh, three room apartments. That means three room apartments mean two bedroom and one living room and two room apartment means one bedroom and one living room. Like as soon as I bought this, like the regret was massive because I saw that there were uh, these two other apartments there which I didn't know about, I didn't see, and it was right across the building where we live in. And these are much, much better because it is directly in an office area in Bucharest. And rents that you're getting on that is absolutely insane. You're getting like 1,000 euros per month. And that's the funny thing. Like most of the people like who are living in Germany, Denmark, and other like, you know, developed countries, like you'd always think that like, you know, why would you put your money in Romania? And like that Romania is unsafe and things like that which is not really the case. I mean, you can still debate that there's still some kind of like, you know, issues in the system here and there, of course, which are more than clear most of the times. But overall, from a business point of view, Romania is a very interesting uh, country. And that's why you also see like so many investments happening here. And this is also like, you know, I can show you right now, if you are getting in Romania for any one euro that you're investing, you're getting 6% yield on that, 6 per plus percent. Because the average yield for our properties right now in Romania is around 6.75%. We got a very, very beautiful uh, Airbnb for 200,000 euros. I will blend in the um, drone shot, the promo for that, which we'll be renting out on Airbnb. The revenue for that is around 30,000 euros per year. And there are costs of around like 0.3% roughly, which I'm pretty sure we will be able to reduce it further. Like what we discussed was the previous owners were like having a constant uh, kind of subscription payment for the cleaning staff we will not have that we will have the payment when we get something done so with that like we would be able to increase the yield a little bit but of course i don't want to kind of change things right now i don't want to count on the money i don't have right now so absolutely beautiful place and these places that we got here these are also in a very beautiful complex where you have a swimming pool you have a spa you have gym, you have uh, Starbucks nearby, you have McDonald's nearby, you have Lidl nearby, you have all of the main things that you need. You just have two minutes of walk from your apartment complex, which is crazy. Like the location that you have for that is absolutely lovely. And because in Bucharest, you don't really have so many 
apartment complexes which have this kind of like luxury um theme to it so we were like you know it's it's a no brainer we buy it right away so this is what we have done and you might ask now why don't you invest in germany so for this like i want to show you the other thing to give you an example for germany because of course we also have family so who have a uh, real estate in germany uh, alina's parents have a uh, real estate their own house around like half a million it costed and alina's grandparents also have their own property in germany so we know how the rental situation how the real estate situation is also in germany from our family experience and that unfortunately is not so nice especially when you're renting it out when you're buying for yourself makes sense because then you'd be putting your money as rent which you save i still believe if you are not having crazy amounts of cash flow and you say okay like this is the place i'm going to forever stay at i think it still makes sense to buy your own thing but if you have more money and you say all right i can live in a smaller place I don't need to have a fixed place right now. I can try to buy some rental properties, things like that. Then it makes sense to go towards that. First of all, let's talk about the yield. The yield in Germany is not so great. You take a look at the yields here for this place. You take a look at the listing and what the listing says is something very interesting. The listing says, oh, 3.88% brutto rendita. Again, whenever somebody says brutto, you have to directly ask the question, what will be the netto? And the net netto does not look that great because when you start reading through all of these things and you understand what the story is, you will see that there's also Wohngeld that has to be put aside. And this Wohngeld is around, it was around 105 euros and it can be divided between the tenant and the house owner. But most of the times it is paid by the person who is owning the apartment. So if you're like adding all those things inside, you're getting a yield of 2.36%. 2.36%? Like the worst one that I have is at least twice as better in Romania, which is 5.2%. So like if you're getting like two times the return on your money, like, you know, why would you invest your money here? Especially when it comes with so much paperwork. Now, mind it, I started my life in Germany. I started my career in Germany. And of course it is a country with so many beautiful opportunities. But when it comes to like, you know, growing rich there, I think like it becomes very difficult if you want to have your own businesses. I have two companies, Alina, my wife, she has a company of her own. And for us, it is so much more easier to run these things here in Romania than it is in Germany because we don't get any letters at all. Like it's been two years in our post box. We have not received one single letter. The only letter that we received was from German authorities. One was the Technica Krankenkasse for the health insurance premiums that I like, you know, we are not going to charge anything anymore. I find it ridiculous that they even sent the post to Romania. Then I received two speeding tickets um, somehow somewhere in Germany. So they sent me the letters like because they cannot do it like, you know, digitally or whatever. So they sent the letters again. They managed to send it to Romania. But other than that, absolutely not a single paper at all we received here. So with all of those things combined, like, you know, we are actually very happy investing our money in Romania so far. Um, and now let me take you to the second uh, property in Germany. So the second property I was seeing. Now, how do you find these properties? First of all, I think that's these are things I can make very, very detailed videos about. You just have to let me know in the comments uh, on like, how do you find these things and stuff like that. So if you take a look at this one, which is a capital anlage. Capital Anlage is a completely different thing. And that is you're essentially buying, uh, you're investing your money somewhere. And this apartment is already rented out. That means you cannot use it for yourself. Uh, if you want to use it, you have to put some kind of um, uh, this application for personal usage, things like that. So all of that becomes uh, a little bit long. So here, if you see, you're also having around 7,000 euros. So you were getting um, a meter of 7,000 euros, but you also have to put the uh, Wohngeld 50-50. So you end up getting 2.6% yield on this one too, which is again, like really not such nice money. I mean, think about it, like for 160,000 uh, euros that I'm investing um, in uh, Germany, I get just 347 euros. Um, 
of rent, like net rent per month. Now, of course, that's not true because you're getting 587 euros of rent. But again, you have other costs involved being a house owner in Germany, which you don't have in Romania. In Romania, we don't pay any administrative costs. We don't pay anything at all. All of these costs are paid by the tenant itself. So with all of those things combined, like just 347 euros of profit in the end from 160,000 euros, like that's ridiculous because with when I pay like 160,000 euros, the net profit that I'm getting is 750 euros in Romania. So it's like at least twice as much in the worst place I have. If I pay 176,000, I'm getting 1,000 euros of rent per month. One thing I forgot to mention here was that none of these properties we bought over loan because loans are just not making sense, at least in Romania. So you always have to see if you're taking a loan, if that is something which is going to be relevant for you when you talk about yield. So you see like why this kind of um, made it a very easy decision for us because we know it from our family who have their own real estate. Uh, we know it from our own experience, like with our real estate uh, in Germany, uh, in uh, Romania and one in Denmark. So we see like what kind of um, prices you get and what kind of yields you're able to generate with that. Now, I think another question is like, why real estate? The reason is that Recently, if you see, we were investing, of course, a lot of money in stocks and turns out like that was the surprise of our generation um, that this was the most inflated prices that you were seeing and a crash was coming that none of us had any kind of idea about. Nobody can predict the market. We would know that a war will start, a pandemic will come, things like that. All of the shitty luck that you can get, you got everything in one single place and that in our time. So I'm in this much as much as you are. And the maximum my stock portfolio went into minus was like around minus 127,000 euros, which was ridiculous. I mean, if you would need the money right now from that, like you'd be selling it at a crazy loss. Right now, the loss is around minus 70,000 and most of it because of penalty. Thank you so much. With the stocks, because you don't really have anything physical right now, you don't really have anything stable, especially in these unstable times. The idea came that we take a look at what are the places where we can invest our money the best in and that came out to be Romania. Now, this is not all bad news for people who are living in Germany. Why? So if you take a look at the yields in Romania, right, you're getting yields of like 6% to 7%, 7.5%. But the loan in Romania is minimum 10%. Like... It is absolutely crazy. So if I want, there was this discussion I was having having with a real estate agent that maybe I want to buy five or 10 apartment units together with loan. I, they were like, yeah, 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 do it, do it. Because of course, everybody wants to sell their stuff. But I sat down, started doing calculation, starting putting it online uh, in these online calculators, how much I will be ending up paying in the end. With 10%, it is absolutely ridiculous how much money you end up paying afterwards because this 10% keeps on accumulating on whatever kind of money you have have left to the to be paid for the bank. So that was not a situation like in Romania is not a country where you can take a loan and you can buy things and you can make it profitable for you. That makes zero sense whatsoever. But Germany is a country where it makes sense because the interest rates that you have in Germany are still much better. Previously, before all of this th these things started, you were getting like interest rates of what, like 0.5%, 1%, things like that, which is absolutely crazy. And if then you're getting a, a profit of 2.9%, then of course it makes sense. So as long as the interest that you're having is lesser than the yield that you're making, it still makes sense for you to get something because it's having some kind of positive cash flow. But now let's take a look at the interest rate in Germany on real estate loans. Now, if you take a look at these uh, rates, they are now lying at 3.64% to 3.96%. That was not the case previously. There was a graph which kind of showed exactly like how things were developing. So if you see here, and this is Bauer Financiering Expert website, and it kind of showed you that in the meantime, like after almost 2015, after 2015 or even like after 2014, 13, it always made sense for you to simply take a loan and start um, buying places and put them on rent. Why? Because the interest that you're getting is lower than the yield you'll be making. 
the best time to buy real estate was from 2020 to around 2021 2022 before this war started the gas prices started increasing things like that all of that started right so there was a definitely a golden time for you to do these things and i really believe that in the future a time like this will come again because look one thing very important is to remember that just like they were saying previously that uh, we are putting like these economic sanctions on russia and russia will be a ruined country things like that nothing happened to russia and uh, things worked out just fine the same story with china we are, we are going to put sanctions on china things like that they were talking for a long time about india that they want to like put sanctions on india and stuff like that nothing happened to india the same way i think even though if there are some kind of like you know bad times which come for germany like with with regards to all of this uh, interest and uh, credits things like that this is again not going to be something which is going to last forever germany already has seen a few difficult times in its history and I don't think there is going to be another round where it is going to go through it and it's going to completely collapse. It has gone through these phases much, much, uh, many more times previously. And I think it is going to be fine. It's just not the right time when you think about like, you know, buying um, real estate with credits. We are not doing it in Romania. If you have a bank in Germany, which can give you a better interest rate and that is better than the yield, then it would, of course, always make sense. So these are my thoughts. This is what we have been doing. I will give you some more updates about what are the properties that we are buying, maybe like individual breakdowns. Um, how did we find the properties, things like that. I know many of you are living in Germany. So if you are interested about the property purchasing and finding properties, things like that experiences in Germany, I'd also be happy to talk about that. Otherwise, for people who are still in their studies, students or like, you know, who are not having so much savings on the side, it still makes sense to have some kind of investments going inside in ETFs because you cannot really buy anything right now with small chunks of money. And of course, for investing, I'm always using the Scalable Capital Broker. The link for that you can find in the description below. If you have any kind of other questions, let me know in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. I'll be happy to respond to you. See you in the next video. Bye.